If you've downloaded iOS 10, you probably already know about the main features, but chances are you may have missed a few. Here are five small ones that could make a big difference. If your inbox is getting blown up with spam, this one's for you. Click whatever newsletter is using up real estate on your screen and hit that unsubscribe tab at the top. Now confirm on the pop-up screen and you're off the mailing list for good. And while you're in the mail app, here's two more tricks. Press on that new filter button on the bottom left. This allows you to sort through your inbox based on different categories. Press it again to turn it off. And email threads have also gotten easier to keep up with thanks to the redesign in iOS 10. Press on the blue arrow for an overview of the exchange, or click on one to see the full thread organized in individual boxes. You can still use the arrows on the top to go to the next. You can also customize the order in which the messages are displayed from the threading option in the mail settings. Now let's move on to Safari, which now lets you have as many tabs open as your heart desires, which means you may end up with an entire deck of cards on your screen. Forget about swiping left for every page next time you want a clean slate, because iOS 10 lets you choose them all at once by long pressing the Done button. iOS 10 lets you doodle on photos outside of the Mail app. To send as a message, first select the photo, tap it in the chat window before you send, and select Markup, or edit directly in the Photos app. Hit the Settings icon, then the More button on the top right, and select Markup. You can doodle, zoom, or type on your shot like you would in Snapchat. Tweet me with some of the hidden features you uncover, or leave it in the comment section below. And make sure to check out our full guide of iOS 10 at cnet.com slash howto.